Molly O'Brien. Yeah, my dating uh, philosophy is basically both my parents are dead, so I could date whoever I want. And, you know, that works out well. You know? None of this parental. They always have the, ooh, I don't know, are you serious about her? Uh, Mom, I'm as serious as I can be. Um, oh, our next comedian, Dr. K, you're standing there. Okay, anyone who can figure out where he's from <laughs> is not blocked. Okay? <laughs> Give it up for Dr. K! Thank you. Thank you very much. Dr. K here. All the way from Oklahoma. My sinners uh, lost the last couple of weekends. Wait a minute. I'm in New Jersey. Why am I talking about <laughs> football? They're not that interesting college football in New Jersey. There are people here who think that the Alabama Crimson Tide is part of the menstrual cycle. <laughs> they don't know that TCU went to the national championship game last year under first year head coach Sonny Dykes. They think Sonny Dykes is the name of a lesbian tanning salon. <laughs> but my sooners have lost their last two games. But hey, Oklahoma is number one in tornadoes, <laughs> in divorce, two ways to lose a trailer. <laughs> I want to open a mobile home park for divorced people in Oklahoma, call it Stormed Out. <laughs> a parade of broken homes. Make money flipping houses. <laughs> <laughs> Oklahoma is number one in divorce, and I did my part <laughs> twice. What can I say? I'm a team player, but we're sooner. I was once a POW, prisoner of life. I suffered from PTSD. Post traumatic Suzanne disorder. <laughs> Suzanne was my first wife for 20 years. She filed for divorce on Martin Luther King Day. And I was saying, Free at last, free at last, thank God Almighty, I'm free at last. I'm just kidding. Courthouse is closed on Martin Luther King Day. <laughs> she filed the day after. And, um, like, you know, for a while I kind of missed the sex. I have a wet dream! <laughs> I was about to say, I knew at some point I was going to get them to stop raising that menu! <laughs> Oh, I was yeah, kind of disturbed the other day. Well, I'm kind of disturbed every day, but recently I was really disturbed though when somebody told me that my home state, Oklahoma, ranks 45th in education. I said, really? Out of how many states? Uh, <laughs> But to be fair, my daughter graduated NYU. Yeah. yeah. But before she went there, she was homeschooled by her mother. I mean, who wouldn't get straight A's if their dad slept with a teacher? <laughs> <laughs> now, my second wife, uh, she's a little bit older than me. Um, not a lot older, but she did have a high school classmate that looked like Colonel Sanders. So, you know, she tried to argue with me. She said, he doesn't look like Colonel Sanders. I said, well, he has white hair, white goatee, the glasses, that's Colonel Sanders. This guy had a goatee, he looked like Colonel Sanders, but still. <laughs> and she goes, so she tries to change the subject. She said, you know, he and his wife have been together since high school. I said, well, maybe she's finger looking good. <laughs> I mean, before I got married, I didn't know anything. I mean, uh, 
when I was in high school, a guy comes up to me and says, Kelly, I know this girl, and she wants your body. I said, tell her I'm still alive. <laughs> then I got divorced, and I still didn't know anything. I thought plentyoffish.com was a website for mermaids. <laughs> Instead of land hoes, sea hoes. And I've never heard of friends with benefits. FWB, friends with benefits. Totally new concept to me until I read a dating profile where a woman wrote, I want no FWB. And I sent her an email that said, what do you have against free will Baptists? <laughs> she replied, LOL, you are funny. FWB stands for friends with benefits. I said, what do you have against people who have health insurance? <laughs> she said, LOL, the benefits I'm talking about is sex. Oh, I get it. Friends with benefits. Kind of a homosexual relationship. Yeah. <laughs> you no longer have wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. You know, you have hunch, hunch, and let's do lunch. I just things I don't understand. Like, why do we have pimps? Why do you have to have a pimp? I mean, why can't, if somebody needs a prostitute, why don't they contact her directly and buy wholesale? Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Costco toots. Wham, bam, thank you, Sam's. <laughs> Talk about your big box purchase. Your shopping DJs. That's my time. Thank you very much. Yeah. Dr. K, everyone. So does everyone in Oklahoma wear that jacket? <laughs>